Hello, it's been a while since I did a Let's Play. I think the last one, last series I was doing was Bastille and um, Relentless. Unfortunately, my computer died and I found myself, well, losing most of the, all my videos basically. Even my Raws and my finished series, I lost it all basically. But, um, yeah, I got a new computer, new setup, so. Hopefully I'll restart, but I probably won't do Relentless again. Well, no, I will plan. I just not right now. I need to figure how to work my computer first. But right now I've been struggling to get this to work. Oh, well, whatever. Um, today I'm gonna play something else. It's made by um, Psychosis. If you can tell from the start of the music, you should already know what it is. It's one of my favorite games. It's not my favorite um, ports. If you can tell from the NEC and also the Magic Engine Logan slogan at the beginning. Yeah, this is the Shadow of the Beast. Um, the graphics 16 version, the CD version. It has amazing music, which I will let you listen to soon. But it's not my favorite for it, and you'll find out why. But, um, listen to the music, I guess. Okay, that's enough of that. <laughs> it would take a while. Um, you can probably find it on YouTube. I know I did, but then I bought the, uh, oh. This, the, the difference is, first of all, I don't think any of this series had an intro movie like that, and also, it's, this, suffering from my experience, this is far easier, it has better music, but it doesn't have, I don't want to say it has all music, I don't think it's, I think it's missing one track, and, but anyways, the music's all disorganized, it's, it's just, it's weird, it's different, you'll see. Um, you can also change the options, so you can have a lot of lives, I think this goes up to 15, you can have 5 credits, it's, it's, um, it's easy, <laughs> I mean it's, it's really easy comparably to the other ones, um, I'm going to see if I can save this without, hold on, since I don't remember my key codes, hotkeys anymore. Alright, let's... Okay. So I'm gonna play this, and I'm probably gonna play the Genesis version too, just to show the difference, but I'm gonna... I'm gonna finish this one first. Shit. Alright, punch, kick. Alright. First thing is first, without dying. My reflexes aren't as good as they used to be. What the hell is that? Whatever. First, well, first you always go into the caverns because you have to go into the caverns. That's kind of creepy. Anyways, 
So yeah, I've been out with a computer. It's it's kind of frustrating. For a whole month I had a no computer, then I had a well I had an Android tablet, but that wasn't really meh. I think it was like an Acro 7. It was frustrating because the Wi-Fi would never pick up and every time it did it would drop me without me realizing it. It was eventually I just broke it with the when I punched it. Uh <laughs> I, I might actually die because I'm being too careless, and it's just, I don't really have the um, patterns laid out as, I, as much as I did on the, the Genesis. I played the Genesis more because I grew up on the uh, Genesis Shadow of the Beast. Oh, motherfucker. Okay. I can do this. And if anybody has actually played it and already noticed, it's far easier. I, and I'm not too sure what the full difference is. I might not even have to go down here. Because <laughs> I know in the Genesis you have to get the key. But this might not have the key. Alright, this is a potion down here. Yeah, now there's a key. We have to get the key. Find the door that opens. For those who've never actually played the, um, Shadow of the Beast series, it has a very, um, I would say an adventure theme to it, because it's not just a side-scroller, you actually have to pick up keys, you have to, um, under understand the, uh, I don't know what I'm waiting to it, but you have to find certain items to advance further, and it doesn't really show in the Genesis version as much as the, um, Omega version. As well, there's another different, um, it goes from damn it to typical side scroller to um, like a pop down shooter at one point. I don't know. It gives a little slight diversity in um, action, I suppose. Anyways, and yeah, let's keep moving on. Oh shit! Uh, that's right. Let's try to defeat this thing. But once you, it's not a complicated game. It's very artsy, and it's kind of it make, because of the artsiness of it. It does make it really difficult, like most games during the Omega time. But I don't know what I'm going on. I'm just kind of rambling. Uh, whatever. All right. Oh, that was weird. See what I mean? The music's different. Usually what you hear now would be the main entrance theme to um, the wilderness. And the spike. <laughs> I don't remember it too much. It's kind of throwing me off there, but um, yeah. But the music's amazing. I just hope my audio level is um, working for me. Because my testing, I'm, I'm not used to Windows 7, I'm used to XP, so a lot of it's different. And it's throwing me off on what I knew about the um, recording methods. And right now I'm using Fraps, and it was a little weird to me too, but... Anyways, let's do a quick save, sorry. Alright. But, it... Uh, it kind of made my voice a little bit louder and made the um, music louder than I can hear it. So what I hear is lower, but when it records, it's going to be louder. I don't know. I'm just... don't really have anything else to say. <laughs> so I'm just boring you all people with um, technical issues. Oh, Alright. Get me a key. I think the graphics on here is a little bit... The artwork is a little bit better. I think the Omega version has better artwork, but I never really played the Omega version. I wanted to. I got an emulator and everything else, but it, it never worked. So, yeah. And, 
I spent about $700 on my new desktop, and so far, I hope it treats me well. It's far better than my old computer. My other, my other computer had like maybe like less than 512 video memory, and um, about a gig of RAM. <laughs> I mean, it's seven years old, what do you expect? It was mid. Uh, it was fairly um, high end during that time. But this one has like a gig of memory, maybe eight, meg uh, eight gigabytes of RAM. You know, the general stuff you would need these days. And all I'm doing with it so far is playing old Turbo Graphics games. <laughs> I haven't done anything else that and, you know, RC or RC. Because I love my chat rooms. Anyways, I might die soon. Some of the enemies do make a return, but sometimes it's a little bit different. Shit. I was not expecting that. Yay, full strength. Now, as you can tell, I'm not being very careful, so I'm taking a lot more hits, but yet, at the same time, I'm not dying. It'd be a different story on the Genesis, because everything's so fast on the Genesis. This, I can kind of just not care. Plus, I think the Genesis caps you out with like 3 credits, maybe 10 health. This I can go up to 15 and 5, which I did because I want to complete the game without much issue. So, yeah. Go Steve. Smack you. Alright. There's also other graphics that you don't see in the um, Genesis version. But I'll show that soon. Super strength. We're gonna be. Holy shit! I wasn't expecting that. Oh, you pricks! <laughs> All right. Like I said, I'm not being as careful, so I'm. I'm kind of feeling stupid here because I'm treating this game a little easier as the Genesis, so... Mmm. Yep. I have other plans for a new... An, I'm, right now I haven't have... Let me rethink of this. I'm planning to do new games. Um, I got two new free games that came with the game, with my computer. I've never played them. I might do them blind. Just, you know, for the fuck of it. Because it might be fun. And I realize it's been going on for 30 minutes, so I'm going to do a save. Then I'll be right back. Yeah. Right back. Okay, I'm back. Alright. Uh, before I. Th oops. Ooh, that was close. What I was saying before I ended my recording there, I have two games lined up that I might um, do a blind um, let's play. They're fairly modern, which eh, this is a little bit you know different for most let's plays I would imagine because most people, well, at least the ones I watch, never do anything pre um, or post 2000. But, I'm excited to play one. The other one I heard was good, but I don't know anything about it. But, um, yeah, I might do that. 
don't know how long it would take me to finish. Probably gonna take me some time. And those ants normally are bigger and not that small, but I don't care. These things are kind of dangerous. Tree people, I think. Oh no. Well, I do know they're dead. But yeah, anyways, I'm gonna do two blind runs, but I will probably not do them at the same time. That's another thing I'm gonna change. I'm not gonna do two Let's Play at once this time. I'm too, um, I get too distracted, and plus, having to convert 30 minute videos, which is roughly an hour for two games, it gets annoying. So I might stick to one and I'll be fine with that. Um, also, with a new computer that's probably faster, I might be able to not feel the um, burden of a long move, of a long uh, video to convert. At least, I hope. I mean, that could be fucking wrong. <laughs> but yeah. And I will not return to fast steel. Even though I have a save file, I lost, I think, ooh, new medium. Come on, come on, come in. Anyways, let's do a quick save, because I might die. Anyways, but yeah, I might not return to Bastille. I mean, I do have a, I might have a save file, because I left it on my backup hard drive, but, mm, I think it's kind of boring for people to watch. I mean, I enjoyed playing it, but after a while, I'm doing the same thing over and over again. No, oh, thanks. Amber cave. Shit. This this dungeon is probably the hardest dungeon in the uh, game. Considering it's like the um, aside from the the uh, side scroller shooter aspect. This one, this is maybe the last real dungeon you have faced, so, at least in the Genesis version, I could be wrong. But anyways, what we're doing now, I think we have to find a, um, shit, but, um, I think we have to find the, this is kind of, oh yeah, so, Frustrating, anyways. But I think I have to find a monkey wrench and a well, another jet pack, and also what I think is a gun. So moonshine, as I will call it. Oh, damn it! What the fuck? Okay, there we go. The runs off. Oh, son of a bitch! Fucking legs. Anyways, no, yep, monkey wrench. Okay, now we got the wrench. Shit. Oh, damn feet. Okay, maybe it's a little... No, no, we'll send the Genesis a little harder. I'm just not used to it. remembering where to go without getting lost. Okay, now we're at, um, the, yeah. <laughs> we're, we're back at to ground one, so spiders, without spider webs. That's cool. Barrels. I don't know what's with games and barrels. I've never understood that. 
deadly, deadly barrels. Okay. Creepy monsters. Alright. God damn it. Uh oh, left or right, left or right. Let's go left. At some point, I could be going up. Hmm. All right. Ruby has um, this candle. Let's say so. Pew pew. And I think it has a little bit of ammo, so we can be as badass as possible. See, monkey wrench. How do I use it? There we go. Okay, I don't think I explained the story to this. <laughs> Basically, you get a curse and you become a beast. At least, that's what I consider from that, um... Uh, a little preview there in the beginning, but also I think it might say that in the booklet. But um, you get it, you get a curse, and you have to break your curse by killing the beast which gave you the curse, or something like that. Uh, I'm sure it's a little bit more cohesive than the uh, actual booklet. But then again, it's a Genesis. Well, it's a 80s game, so there's probably not much really backstory to it. Alright, let's do a quick save because I don't want to die. Okay. This will kill me. If I recall, it was a lot harder on the Genesis because you have to pin in a certain sway and their, um, yeah, I don't know. It's been a while since I played that. Alright. Yay. Um, 
So far, so good. Sometimes the um, my mixture changes sound on me. I don't know if you'll hear it because it's recording on a different way. I don't know. jumping like that is because it's not responding with me, it just jumps up in the air and not move. Uh, 
fuck it. I'm just gonna run for a bucket. Yeah, that's what you get. Oh, big toe. Okay, we're at the boss. We're at the boss. Alright. Oh shit, he's throwing stones at me. Damn it. He's throwing stones at me. Stop it. I wasn't expecting stones. No. Can I? No. No. Try that again. I don't know how to walk it, I don't know how to do anything to it, because this is not what I face in the Genesis version. Aww. Okay, I'm gonna pause the recording and figure this out, so yeah, so. Alright, I'm back. I found myself a safe spot, as you can tell. So, right here. Wait, no, dang it. A little bit further than that. Alright. I got three tries of not screwing up, which almost happened there. That bad I couldn't keep my gun. But I guess that's just the way it's going to be. God damn it. Let's try that again. Sorry. Anyways. Fuck, fuck me, what the fuck was that? I, oh, there we go. That was unexpected. There's a slow mo button for the um, magic engine, and it's right next to the left. But it's, it's the um, num number pad zero because I'm using the uh, D pad. Sometimes my pinky won't hit it, and it confuses me. And yes, this is the boss. This is the final boss. A big toe. <laughs> it can't be any more anticlimactic than that. That's a reference to the, um, I think the second Shadow of the Beast. So, that's interesting. Psygnosis and NEC. Well, that's, um, Shadow of the Beast. The ending, well, it's nothing, you know, satisfying. It's a lot better than the ending on the Genesis. That's, I can tell you on that one. I'll show you that soon. So, I'm gonna let the credits run while you listen to the music. Assuming my microphone shuts off when I do this. Oh.